Hi, I'm Brenda. I'm Dave. And we are Twin Flames in Union. Welcome to my channel, um, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. Um, we are doing a daily Twin Flame reading. Um, it is what Celia has guided us to do. So here we go. Okay. Dave is going to start with the Oracle, um, and I'm going to handle the tarot. Okay. So that's the message we need to hear for the day. We are using the Sacred Destiny cards today. Um, they are from D Denise Lynn. So the first card I get is Miracles. I love that card because it's got a double rainbow. Double on rainbow, it. and it's yeah. And then I've got Focus. Always a good message. And Enlightenment. Definitely what we're going through right now. Yeah, so kind of get that that message that you know, just wonderful things, magic's happening. It's you just have to kind of focus on what's going on, what the the surroundings that you have, and that'll kind of bring some of that enlightenment and uh, seeing the bigger picture. Absolutely, and stuff beyond you. Um, underlying energy is love. Which is also very good. We love that. And adventures. So it seems like cool. it's uh, maybe some travel or some some other, if it's just in your mind or not or whatever, but that, that love card's really kind of pulls together the, the You're just thinking travel because you're also seeing that voyage card. So <laughs> the voyage says. card right there, yes. So... Sets a general mood. Yes, um, it is very good energy. Um, it is, you know, Twin Flame Tuesday. We are doing live tonight at 7.30. Um, please join us. Um, I know I will be there with Celia. Dave may or may not be there. We just see <laughs> how see. he's see how he's feeling, whatever the you know, energy is. We just kind of have learned to um go with do as we, you know, are guided to. I was gonna do a live reading yesterday and the energy just was like not having it. So just have to go with where, where I'm guided. Mm -hmm. So we are going to see, um, what is the, um, clarification on that message, Dave. Um, we love the miracles card that love that double rainbow. Um, the current energy is the six of swords. Um, I felt like, that may have been in the reading yesterday as the outcome card. So it's went from the outcome to the current energy. Mm -hmm. How about that? Um, the energy that's crossing that is the three of pentacles, which is, you know, that contract card um, in the physical with, you know, um, when I see that card, it reminds me of me and Dave and Celia kind of working together. So know that you're, you and your twin are working together. Um, even if it's just in the 5D, in that enlightened space, you know, um, know that that connection is solidly um, there and that it's ready to move into a new direction. We are loving that. Um, we're definitely going in a new direction. So, yeah. <laughs> every day. Uh, the current foundation is the um, Nine of Swords, which is definitely, you know, the fastest moving energy in the deck. Definitely some clarity. Um, it reminds me of this morning when you went to leave that you were like, or yesterday, when you were telling me about the, the crows saying hi. Oh, yeah. So um, I, I feel like there's a lot of messages coming in. Um, sometimes it might even just be a conversation you overhear because he's a little bit away from it. So it might not be a direct conversation you were in. Um, it might just be um, oh, dream space. Are you dreaming of your person? Are know that when you're doing that, you are actually in that com in the communication of the relationship um, in that five D space that we are in when we are in our unconscious state of sleep. So that's when we do release release our resistance. Um, the immediate future energy is the Knight of Pentacles, which I almost feel like that's where he was yesterday. I feel like. Doing the work, keep doing the work every day. Know that, um, you know, 
it's about doing the work, putting the steps in. Um, and, you know, we are on our spiritual mission. Um, the current headspace is this, the Seven of Cups. Sometimes the Seven of Cups can be about making a choice. Sometimes it's not knowing which choice is the right choice. Um, is it time to flow? Is it not time to flow? Um, if he picks that bowl up, what happens? If he... It reminds me because you were playing the bowls when you got home from work. Mm -hmm. And every time I see that card, it reminds me of the bowls. So, <laughs> and they're upside down because he's like, nope, not doing it. Mm, I'm going to think about it, but I'm not going to do it yet. <laughs> uh, the immediate past card is the Two of Swords, which is the card that was, I believe, in the environment. Um, in Coffee and Cards. Um, that card was the two of swords was the environment. So now it's moved to the past energy. So at least energy is moving forward. Um, mm -hmm. The card of the environment now is the seven of swords. Walking away from that shit that's not serving you. Good energy. Because um, it looks like some, some new light is being shed on the things that aren't serving you. Um, you know, that enlightenment um, and that miracles card. You know, sometimes somebody is taken out of our life or a situation has changed. And we don't understand why, but it's for a leveling up. Sometimes we have a period of, you know, the dark night of the soul um, can also be this energy, um, especially with it being the two of swords to the seven of swords. Um, so you actually gave me some um, tips for videos. And one of those is about the dark night of the soul. So we are going to do a video about that. Um, should be coming out in the next couple of days. Um, awesome. I say that as the crow is there on the front with his mouth open. So yeah. <laughs> we we are going to give some um, guidance about some dark night of the soul. We will probably do a special um, video about that one. Um, so he says the the energy of how other people see you is the five of wands. Um, they see you're working on stuff. Maybe they're a little confused at where are you trying to go? I you know with that enlightenment you know. What are you trying, you know, what are you trying, where are you trying to really get to? Um, I know some people probably think that about me on, you know, what I, on the mission I am. I went from being, you know, a physical therapy assistant to now I'm a tarot reader. Mm -hmm. So people just, you know, sometimes you have to not worry about what other people think. <laughs> um, throw that out the window. Um, <laughs> the hopes of yours card. The temperance card, finding that balance. Um, know that Archangel Michael is right there with you. If you're having struggle on your twin flame mission because um, you're in dark night of the soul, you can call in Archangel Michael for guidance and assistance. He will definitely, um, you can have him put a protective bubble around you. You can have him clear your energy. Um, there are a lot of um, very good tips you can, you know, Utilize Archangel Michael for to really help you with this union. And then the outcome card is the justice card, which is definitely another card about balance. Um, so it looks like most of the energy overall going on right now is our major arcan or minor. So that's more of the day-to-day -day choices of what action are you choosing to take? Are you choosing to take the action of moving in, you know, to calmer waters, walking away from things that aren't serving you, things that are causing you chaos and conflict, um, things that aren't good for you. Um, and we do have definitely some twin flame cards with the justice card because you know that is about a marriage contract. Um, mm -hmm. You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we get the ten of wands. We get the hanged man. Um, the two of cups. And the four swords. Um, and the bottom of the deck is the magician, which is, you know, you are able to really manifest um, the relationship you want. And by the honestly, the best way of doing that is by that self-love. Um, we have the love card and the adventure card. Um, where would you like to, um, you know, plan a little mental escape, you know? Where would you like to go? Dave, if we could go somewhere, where would you like to go? Warm beach. I don't know. <laughs> I know we're about to have like eight inches of snow and be really cold. So um, really meditate on it and really think of, you know, 
what would it be like if what would it be like if you could go anywhere for a week with your person where would you go comment below and tell us where would you go um with your person if you could go right. anywhere for a week let's um work on manifesting some magic um because we do have the miracles card um and literally it just takes a little bit of focus to really um in a place of love to really bring in exactly what you want It'd be fun yeah so we are going to work <laughs> on where let's see where would i want to go somewhere warm too i still want to do the abraham cruise that'd be fun so i'm going to still keep working on manifesting that see okay. how it goes for me <laughs> we'll see we'll see how it goes um we hope everyone is having a great day dave is going to do a romance angels to give us some guidance Guidance on romance. On this twin flame journey, we're all on together. So you did give me some inspiration on a couple other videos. One is about how I found um, my life purpose through my birth chart. Because we were talking about that a little bit um, recently in Coffee and Cards. Oh, okay. So I get the card of healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And that has been some things that I know I've been working on. So yeah, that, that forgiveness is goes a long way in kind of helping everything that kind of goes on. So it helps with all your relationships. So definitely. And a good thing to remember with that, your parents were just doing the best they could do with what they knew. Um, they were just going off the role models they had and the relationships they had. So you have to realize that part of that's all family karma. It is. <laughs> Underlying energy is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So that's that action kind of action card. That's the, the focus maybe. So, yeah. Okay. We, we Do like, great love. She says maybe the next one too. Oh, you want the next one? Oh, we want the next one, too. Okay. It is safe for you to love. Mm -hmm. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Aww. Yes, because we already have the love card. So the love card, um, yeah. Adventures. Yeah, so kind of open it up. And believe in the miracles because, you know, that double rainbow there is a miracle. Mm -hmm. It says miracle. And, you know, that miracle can happen because truly for both twins to be incarnated at the same time is truly a miracle. Mm -hmm. Um, it doesn't often happen. A lot of times it's one or the other, but we are, we are here now this time together to elevate. Right. Yep. That is the whole, that is the whole mission, you know, to raise the, raise the vibration of the planet, um, and all the inhabitants. So. Which okay. is happening one person at a time every day, a little bit more. So um, keep working on your spiritual um, journey and just know that you are in that contact in the 5D. Um, so he says, just know that it is happening, especially in dream space, she's saying. So um, if you want to communicate with your twin, maybe bring your hand to your heart and really focus on them before you go to bed. And, you know, say, this is the message I would like my twin, you know to receive in, in dream space and really go into it with a really open heart and, you know. Love. Be the love. Be the love. Share love. Yes. <laughs> love you. I love you.